Hey guys, Penadaily here, and welcome back to Let's Play The Room. Uh, in the last episode, we finished the Cathedral Puzzle Box chapter, and now we're going on to this chapter for the Squat Puzzle Box chapter. So let's look around and see what we've got. Schiller. We've got various things. Is there anything we can... Don't look at the top. That's actually for the next chapter, so... I'm just going to tell you this. If you try, the game game will actually tell you, hey, dude, can concentrate on this stuff for now. So we've got a photograph and a lot of stuff that we can't seem to do anything with right now. Well, there's obviously got to be something we can manipulate right off the start. Right? Well, let's put on our thing. Uh, we probably could do this right now, actually, but we don't want to yet. Trust me. I mean, we could, but... So we keep scrolling, we keep scrolling, and aha! Talisman Company. Heliocentric Orrery. An orrery is a model of the solar system. So we flip the switch, because of course we do, and we get a box with some kind of puzzle on top. Uh-oh. July 15th. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives this colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. That is incredibly clear-eyed for someone in your position, sir. Unfortunately, I suspect it ain't gonna save you. All right, or last, for that matter. Okay, so we got a puzzle. We need to get this ba ball here. So, the easiest way to do these puzzles is always to work them from the back. So we need to get here, okay? Which means we need to get it here. Right, uh, oof, yeah. So this can get there, but, or there. Let's see if there's any way to move. That won't work. We can move this onto here. Now we just have to move it. Okay, we can move it onto here. And now, let's see... Seriously? There we go, we can move it onto here, and onto here. And that doesn't work. That doesn't work. Yeah, this thing is not always working. Okay, actually, I need to work move it onto here, I think. Yes, and now we move this onto here. And then we can move it this way. And this way. And there. An ordinary key. Sure thing. And wait, no, we already read the note. Okay, so we come out and we look around for an ordinary keyhole. That looks pretty ordinary. Yep. Uh, oh, come on. There we go. This isn't a door. It's another combination lock. So if you move this over... Okay, it's five, and okay, so obviously we need to move it. One, two, three, four, five. And then back the other way. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so it's five, four. Five. 
four, and then back, and three, four, five, and then I assume we don't go across the bottom, because you never go across the bottom. And we get... Oh, boy. I keep expecting the Stargate team to show up. That's all the gold, though. Something in here. It is a small square peg. Make sure you take this. I forgot the last time I was doing a practice run. I didn't realize, I didn't, like, parse that it was there. And, um, so yeah, that was a problem. Well, looks like a viewer of some sort, and we've got something to be viewed. Nah, it's just a photograph. Wait, do we remember what happened the last time we had to look at something through a viewer? Yeah. Oh my. In through the windows, in through the, uh... Sigil. Okay then. A sigil, of course, is a sign or marking. Generally representing um, a, a person or entity. Take the mask off, doofus. Okay, so we've got... Now we look, now we come in here and we look at the Schiller. Okay, well, if we move that down, that gives us a space. Then we come over here, because that's just about the right size as, of that space. And then we can move this down here. <clears throat> and there we go. And, yeah, the problem with that is you can't move it all the way. You know, you can't move it into that space because it won't fit completely. But we got it out of the way, and we have a square pe hole for a square peg. I was stuck for, like, 20 minutes because I had forgotten to take that peg, so don't do that. I think you can guess what we have to put here. These aren't in quite in the same order as before. So, I'm just sort of scrolling. G, okay. I. L. And that chest, we get... A very suspicious bright blue crystal emanating a strange light, and another note. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null element, I fashioned lenses from it. And to wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. Well, given that you probably don't want to be drinking, that might be just for the best. Alcohol doesn't make situations like this much better. Okay, so, uh, let's see. If we look at this, we see it has a hexagonal base. And we have a hexagonal space. I didn't actually intend that to rhyme. So we put that down. That crystal looks like something made out of resin. Mostly because the facets aren't as sharp as they should be. Plus, it's not... This is a video game, so it's not really translucent. This is knurled. Can I... Ah, I have to turn it this way. So... Yeah, you focus the beam. And apparently, in 1900, they had light sensors. A tiny weighted flywheel. Okay, then. Take a look at it. Once the cutscene finishes. We have a plus shape. So we need to look for that X shape. Hey! 
right here in front of this Nintendo Switch. No, I'm sure that's not what it is, but it kind of looks like one, doesn't it? The wheel turns itself. Sure. It's a handle for a drawer. It does not contain a Nintendo Switch. It contains some sort of device for reflecting light. And a blatantly obvious secret button. Containing... A hexagonal piece of map. Well, we know what we can do with a hexagonal piece of map. So... Or, at least, we should. There's a shield-shaped space missing, but... Dude... I didn't mean to turn it that hard. Yeah, the... The harder you pull... Because it's... Phone game. Click. Drag. And we get... A crank! Because we are now in a survival horror game! No, not really. A brass winding handle with a square pin. All right, so let's look around. Oh, hey. That's a square hole. Let us crank the crank. And we get a blank wall. Schiller! And another perspective puzzle. This one's a little more, uh, shall we say, complicated because you can turn the glyph once it gets lined up appropriately just perspective your way and we get an intricate wooden box uh oh let's take a look at this then Okay, it looks definitely like it's carved in weird ways. Oh. Okay. If a Cenobite shows up in my room right now, I'm going to be really pissed. All right. So, let's see. We need to find a place for that star-shaped top. And, well, obviously, if we're going to be reflecting, reflecting light... And it opens... Well, it lights up a thing. And it opens this. Press a button. And now start moving around. Because you can hear it clicking. Move in. Press the button before the... Okay, good. Before the time goes up. And then just keep moving around. And move in. Press the button, start spinning around before the time runs out, and we get some sort of weird ass folding key. We know what to do with that, because we saw it, but, you know, we've still got a thing, because there was another button, remember? So back here, move in, click this button go around in the other direction, click this button, keep going. Remember that you scroll out by right clicking. Ah, and we get a star-shaped piece of map. Tibet, I think. Remember how the guy talked about uh, Tibet beforehand? Yeah. In fact, uh, three of the four spots on this globe are places that he, well, that are, let's see, he said to the Hindus, it is ether, which he meant, you know, Tibet and Hindu, the same, same general area, even though the people of Tibet aren't Hindu, obviously. But it's still... Okay, I'm wrong. It's not the same general area at all. Forgive my white person-ness. The heck? 
I thought, aren't there... Let's see, where is India? That's India. No, I was right. That's... <sighs> Alright, well, whatever. So we still got... This is Egypt, and that is uh, Central America. We never find out anything, which we'll find out later, is one of the... is a place that's... Oh, hey! A star-shaped thing! A telescope viewer. Shall we see what we can see? Nothing! Just trust me on this one. There will be more to see later. But, as you can see, we can go down and uh, zoom out and zoom in on this. So, let's look at our key. And, yay, luckily we have something to compare it to. So, that actually isn't any of those, so we're just going to put it here for now. That isn't any of those. This, too low, but that's right. This, no. This. Yes. And this. Yes. So we put those here, all three of those there, and we put it in the slot. And it opens to show us another small reflecting device. Well, obviously, I think you know what we have to do with this. And now, we follow to here. This is a bit of a pain in the neck. Okay, so if we put on our thing, we see that there is a laser beam. You can only see it with your thing on. What you may not be able to see very well with your eyepiece on is that there are mirrors on either side of these sliders. So, we're going to have to reflect it. So, we'll start with the first part of this one, and reflecting off the first half of this, and it definitely doesn't go anywhere we want it to, so we'll move this to the second half. Still the first half of this. Nope, still doesn't work, so we'll try second half of this. Well, that definitely works, so first half of this. Nope, second half. Yeah, it's pretty easy to solve this one just by process of elimination. And we get a shield sheep piece of map. But we also get another light, which makes... Yup. It is a star sh field. That's pretty. Inventory object found. Part of South America, yes. Specifically, it looks to be part of Brazil. Lucky for us, it's actually up. And another one of those things turns over. Okay, so now we have to figure out something else. What's left undone? Oh, hey! And we see the Southern Cross on a 4x4 four four grid. One, two, right. So, what does that mean? Well, let's move down and look, or move back out and down, and look at the, oh, hey, a 4x4 four four grid. I like how they've designed this so your attention is drawn to where you need to go. Draw the Southern Cross on the 4x4 grid. And we get a square piece of map and another note. The circle were right all along. How can I have been so blind? 
I discovered a passage in their scriptus nocti, an incantation lacking the energy source to drive it. Well, I have such a source. This night I summon Astaroth, whom the Babylonians called Ishtar, prince of accusers and inquisitors, and he who can discover all secrets. Once correctly bound, all knowledge of the null, elemental, oh, null element can be mine. I can barely contain myself. There's so much to prepare. Right. Uh, Astaroth is the... And it, well, Ishtar was the Babylonian e equivalent of Inanna, sort of, who was a goddess of love and fertility, very much like the Greek Aphrodite or the Roman Venus. Astaroth is the name given to the goddess when she was demonized by uh, Christian um, alchemists and mystics in the you know, around the time of the writing of, oh, say, the Lesser Key of Solomon. So, yeah, um, Ashtaroth being prince of inquisitors and accusers, that is from the demonization, demonization of the goddess. Uh, also, often there is a sense of Ashtaroth being involved with lust because, of course, yeah. So, um, this is a bad idea. This is a very bad idea. All right, so we've got our last piece of puzzle. And we've got a handle. We've got a handle on things. Pull that out further. I'm not sure this is actually physically possible, but it looks impressive. Okay, so we're going to call it here. So thank you guys for joining me for Let's Play The Room, and I will see you next time. Have a great evening. Goodbye.